This video is part of a series of videos on how to use auto traffic. Be sure you start from the first video. The link to the playlist is in the description below. Let's go into authentication and set up Othelia. So I'm going to hit set up. It's going to ask you some uh, for some basic information again. You will notice that you are now in command line and it's not that nice looking UI anymore. That's because I haven't rolled it out to Othelia yet. Of course, all the all the instances where user input is required, I plan to convert them to a nice UI, uh, which is which is easier to use for now. It's still the, the old way. So let's go about that, uh, about filling the details here username what what is the name that you want to display i'm just going to pick something random i will use the same password just for testing and you have to provide a username to set up Othelia. now this is tricky in the sense that when you give an username here that is used to register a device that you're logging in from and the registration process requires Othelia to send a uh, a registration link or validation link to your email but we don't have a mail server or SMTP uh, so, um, relay set up on the server yet so Athelia cannot send an email to your email ID even if you provide a valid email so in most cases you can just give a dummy email right here it does not really matter at this point and there is a workaround you don't really need to have a smtp server uh, for Othelia to send this email so we're just going to give a dummy email right there and then just go from there so i'm going to confirm that these values are correct and it will create all the required files for you it will which is the user's database based on the username and password that we just gave you it's going to go through some steps here for convenience sake i've added some additional steps steps into the the script to just make it foolproof because there are many reasons why the setup could fail so maybe just i added i went overboard and put in place some extra protection so you might see some steps if you are an expert user you might see some steps here and think why why is the script doing this and it's because I found that it's the best way for me to make it foolproof. Now, Athelia was set up successfully. Uh, you can see the message there. It tells you what the next steps are. It says visit Othelia.SimpleHomeLab.com and register your, your device first. It also tells you since SMTP requires manual configuration outside the script, all Athelia emails will be now saved to notifications.txt file which you will find at the, at, the, at the path that you see that on the screen right here. So we're going to open this file because we need that registration like but we haven't registered a device yet we'll have to do it now and it says open the file and use the activation link from the file to register your device. We're going to do that right now while the script waits 60 seconds or so to and get get back to the menu. You can always press enter and go back to the menu. I did and we're back. It says Othelia is running and it's good. We're going to do the registration right now. Okay, so let's head over to Othelia.SimpleHomeLab.com and now we see this page right here. You will have to use the username and password you, you provided, so which was Anand and Anand. So I'm going to hit sign in. Since this is the first time that you're logging in from this device so um it's 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 gonna ask you to register for this device so let's hit the register button and notice the notification on the right top corner when i hit register okay so i did and it says an email has been sent to your email address to complete the process now remember where our emails are stored which is another reason why i i like uh, mobax storm so i'm gonna go over to docker app data and Othelia of course I don't have permission because the Othelia folder is owned by root so you won't be able to see it in here um, so unfortunately we'll have to exit out of the script right now so I'm gonna do that by pressing ctrl c now I'm going to elevate myself 
to root sudo su i'm i have root privileges right now so i will go to cd uh, docker app data or thelia because it's i should now be able to do that because it's now owned by it's owned by root now if i do ls you are going to see notifications.txt file which is the one that has our activation link so i'm going to say cat notifications.txt and there you go so here you see a link so i'm going to copy this link from um, i'm going to copy you have to be really careful uh, to copy exactly how it is right now and right click and copy if you press ctrl c i think you can press ctrl c to copy but it may or may not work so i prefer um you have to go back to the exact same browser tab where you have this open and paste that link and press enter there you go now you have the qr code to register your otp i'm going to use my uh, authenticator app you could use google authenticator microsoft authenticator um you uh, duo or Authy. there are many that are available so i'm going to scan the qr code right there and, <clears throat> and register it so i see my first code so i'm going to see i'm going to say done and now enter the code eight and there you have it now i have othelia installed and validated but traffic is still not using Otelia. so let's exit out of being exit out of being a, um, a root and we're gonna execute the script again and head back to uh, authentication you see Otelia is running and it's good now let's see how to put the traffic dashboard behind Othelia. Remember it's behind basic authentication, correct? So let's do that. And it's gonna automatically scan through your setup and say that you have traffic and it's using basic authentication right now. You have two options, either remove the authentication, which, which the script can do for you, or it can switch it to Othelia, which is what we wanna do. So I'm gonna choose Othelia and hit enter. And it says currently enabled authentication methods traffic now is using Othelia. Of course, this requires restarting the services and then uh, it takes a few seconds to finish the whole process and go back to the menu. It's that easy to put, um, put app applications behind Othelia. Now, one thing I am not discussing in this, um, in this video guide is that it, Othelia also supports dual push notifications, which are very convenient to use. You don't need to use your authenticator app and type in the code and everything. Anytime somebody's trying to, to log in or you're trying to log in and you need to validate it, validate the request, you're going to see a pop up or a, a notification on your screen. And you all you have to do is just press approve and then you are in you don't need to type in any code that's really convenient now that requires a manual configuration on your duo account on the website it's the reason why i cannot automate it through the script but you you have a basic cotillia setup working right now and the next step would be something exploring something like that okay so now let's hit enter and go back we're back here let's do some tests okay so i'm going to use now um uh, uh, incognito window and go to traffic.simplehomelab.com now instead of basic authentication we should now see Othelia. okay there you go you have Othelia right now i'm gonna log in again and i'm gonna type in my otp code 286 eight seven six i am inside my traffic dashboard it was that easy so i'm really excited about the addition of Othelia to to uh, to the auto traffic script and how easy it makes the whole process if you haven't liked the video or my channel yet please do so so i'm just starting out and every bit of support from people who watch the videos will really help me grow my channel it helps the youtube algorithm see that 
you find my videos valuable and I get more visits on my videos. Okay.